Question number eight covers mosaic plots, and we're looking at the behavior of dolphins over different periods of the day. So this is categorical, categorical data. Period would be morning, afternoon, or evening, and their behavior or activity would be feeding, social, or travel. So let's go ahead and look at this data and see what we can figure out. Based on the mosaic plot, approximately what percent of these dolphins' morning were spent traveling? So this would be, given that it was the morning, what percent of the time were they traveling? And this is the blue area right here. This blue area we can see is more than 50%. So just a little bit more than 50%, so maybe about 55%. And one thing I would do if I was taking the test is I would square in this area. That lets the grader know that you observed this. And as long as you gave an answer around 55%, maybe 52%, 58%, but 55% might be the best answer, it's pretty easy for them to see you were on the right track and you knew what you were answering. It should definitely be more than 50% though, because that's pretty obvious because we are above the 50% mark right there. And you'll notice we're looking for the area of it, not how far down it goes, because it's more than 50% shaded in on that total bar. Next, based on the mosaic plot, at what time of day were the Icelandic dolphins observed the least? No, mosaic plots are great because they give us both the bivariate and the univariate displays. The bivariate display would actually be the inside of it, which shows us things like morning feed, which is a very small area, versus afternoon travel, which is the largest area it looks like. You can also see the univariate displays if you simply look in the margins. These are the marginal displays for period and the marginal display for activity. So if we want to figure out at what period they were observed the least, we can look at the marginal display for period. Now what you'll notice here is that there is one of these that is much smaller than the others. Afternoon and evening are of about similar size, but morning is the smallest. And the width of the bars for the periods is how long they were observed. And so they were observed the least during the morning because the width of the bar is the smallest. Finally, we want to know if there is actually a relationship between activity and period. And then we need to justify our reasoning for this. So let's go up and look at the mosaic plot and come up with some reasoning. Now, if there is a relationship, what we will see is a difference between the levels. If it is morning, they'll be doing different activities than evening. Now, if there is a relationship, we'll see a difference between the levels. Because a relationship means knowing X gives you some information about Y. If I told you it was afternoon, you might tell me that you think the dolphins are traveling. If I told you it was evening, you might tell me that you think they are either feeding or traveling. And looking at this right here, you can see that the activity changes given the period. With that in mind, knowing X might have you say a different Y. So there's a relationship between X and Y if knowing the X, which is period here, changes your answer for Y. And what you can observe visually is the differences between the heights of the bars between each period. When we look from afternoon to evening, we see a sharp difference where feeding increases a lot. And so the behaviors or activities between periods are not the same. So one of the quickest ways to answer this is that there is a relationship because the height of the blocks are different. We see different activities over different periods.